Hello everyone and welcome to Art and Design. My name is Thorger and today I want to talk about a question that a lot of you have been asking about, which is how do you stream from the iPad to something like Twitch or YouTube or something like that? How do you do live streaming? Let's dive right into it. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the programs to use. So the program that I use in order to receive the signal from the iPad, it's a program called Air Server for Windows. They also have Air Server for Mac, and I also think they have something like a, a separate device for it and for Xbox, so that's a thing. Anyways, so basically you just download this program and that allows you to send the signal from the iPad to the PC or Mac. Now I have already set this program up and uh, I'm just going to show you sort of how I go about streaming. Basically what I do is I click on the icon here, I make sure everything's set up. Um, this is the computer name, we can change it to something interesting like a YouTube video. Let's rebroadcast uh, this device name and now press apply. And now once I pick up the iPad, and I swipe down from the top right corner right here and tap on screen mirroring. You can see YouTube video just popped up right there. And that is the PC uh, basically broadcasting. Hey, I want to receive a signal. And once I tap on YouTube video, it says unable to play. But I think this is because I'm actually screen recording the iPad. So I'm going to stop screen recording the iPad and going to start uh, screen mirroring. And as I do that, we can see it on the PC right over there. And um, it's now, yeah, doing its thing. So I can swipe up and down and it's like really nice uh, latency. It's pretty quick and colors are nice. And the signal is actually well, fairly decent. You can configure uh, the settings. So if you have a slow connection or a bad router or something like that, you can sort of tweak the settings in air server to maybe optimize for your specific use case. But anyways, we now have the iPad showing live on the PC. So that's great. Now what? Well, now we need a program to send the signal to Twitch or to YouTube. And the program that I use for this is Streamlabs. Now I'm actually using Streamlabs right now in order to record this YouTube video. So if I was live streaming right now, this is what you would see. You can see uh, the microphone volume uh, reacting to my voice right over here. Uh, I've set up a couple of different uh, sort of uh, setups right here on the left. Uh, these are the setups. So if I want to look at just the iPad, uh, I can click on this one and now I see the iPad. And if I tap on the iPad and, and interact with it, you can see it's reacting right there. You can also see there's a background and I think I had a chat box inserted right there. So viewers could talk and see the comments directly in the video. So that's this screen right here. If I tap on iPad zoomed, we just see a focus view of the iPad. So if I'm just drawing and I don't want any distractions in the video feed, uh, this is what I'll show. Multitasking, you know, I wanna show the iPad, but I also wanna show uh, something cool on the PC and I can sort of do this sort of thing. And uh, as you can see, this is sort of multitasking mode. Oh, I almost forgot to mention actually how to connect Air Server to Streamlabs. Now, that's actually pretty simple. The only thing we need to do is add a new source to the scene. So if we tap on that, we just need to select Window Capture, and that is gonna capture the window of Air Server. Select Window Capture, click Add Source, and then we're gonna specify the window that we want to choose. Now I've already configured this, so uh, I can select this one right here. This is an existing source that I've already added, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna click on add a new source instead. And let's just name it iPad and add the source. At this point, we just need to specify what window we want to capture. And that's gonna be this one right here, airserver.exe. Just gonna select that. And there we can see uh, basically the preview of the iPad. If I interact with the iPad, we can see it update in real time. So that's pretty cool. And we just click done on that. And now we can just move it around, place it wherever we want. So up in the corner here or over here or just wherever we want. We'll resize it just like that. And yeah, that's pretty much how it's done. Now, one of the things that we can't see is my face. 
And that's because there's a camera pointing at me right there, but this camera is recording to an SD card. I need to take this SD card and put that into the video afterwards. That's just how I do it for the YouTube video. But if I wanted to live stream using this camera, specifically this camera, what I would need to do is I would need to use a device such as Camlink from Algaro. Now, Camlink, if you're watching, please sponsor. <laughs> I would love to do a video about Camlink. It's a sort of relatively expensive device. It's out of stock. Uh, maybe we can check out Amazon, how much it costs. Yeah, it's like 130 euros. Not a cheap device for something very, very focus specific. It takes the signal from the camera and allows me to live capture the feed and display it in a live stream like this or save it directly to the computer. So if you have a cam link uh, on your device, then you can have the video showing right over here, uh, basically by adding a video capture device and then specifying that uh, the device that you're going to be using is the cam link device. Make sense? So I haven't talked about this thing right here. So these are the sources. This is basically what's going on in the video. This is what's actually shown on the screen right here. Now, mic, this is uh, the microphone and we can see it reacting right here. Desktop audio, that's basically the audio that is coming from the computer. The primary display is basically the display of my PC. So this is the main display and that's the resolution. Uh, I can enable cursor to be recorded or not. So that's basically how you set things up. If you wanna add another source, maybe you wanna have an image in the bottom right here, maybe a logo, or maybe you wanna have some fancy graphics or you know videos playing or stuff like that. You can do all of that by tapping on the plus right here and add things. You can even add things like a tip jar so people can sort of give you um, small donations. I'm not gonna go into all of that in this video because this is not a Streamlabs a tutorial video. Uh, you can check out other videos about that on YouTube. But this is basically what I use in order to stream to Twitch or to YouTube. And I like it. I really, really like it because it's easy to use and it has a lot of flexibility and allows me to record and uh, add things uh, with a click of a button. Uh, I can even assign hotkeys to these scenes right here. So let's say I want to focus on drawing something right now. I just switch to the iPod zoomed uh, using a keyboard shortcut and then I can just simply start drawing on the iPad. And just imagine that uh, I'm streaming right now and you're seeing this live and you can interact with me directly, ask me questions about anything you want and uh, yeah, pretty cool, right? I did do a couple of live streams um, a few months ago um, and I stopped doing those, I think mainly because it was just taking a lot of time to prepare them and you know focus on what I should be doing in the live streaming and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I had to just simply pick and choose what I wanna spend my time on. But I really don't see enough Procreate um, artists streaming on YouTube or Twitch. So I just want to put this video out there to show you this is how it's done. Now just bear in mind that the setup of Air Server and OBS might take a little bit of a time uh, to get things set up. You know, there are things like the streaming key that you need to access. It's basically the key that is associated to your stream. You need to put that into Streamlabs. Again, there are full-blown tutorials about how to use OBS to stream to YouTube and Twitch. So just go ahead and check those out. I'll leave a few links in the description. Uh, it should help most of you get started. But again, I can't vouch that it'll work for everyone if you're working behind a VPN or something like that. Like, sorry, I can't help you. But hopefully this video was helpful to those of you who want to do some streaming. So if this video was helpful, do consider subscribing. We do a lot of art and design related stuff on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Other than that, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.